Gerald, your mother and your father told us on the phone stating that you got a girlfriend named Carla just before they passed away from COVID-19. Why did you do that? It's because she is amazing and I like her so much. You fucking liar. Gerald, I have had it with your troublemaking schemes right now along with my sinister cologne. As a punishment, Molly the football head and I will make you and Carla break up with each other right now. You are so dead right now if you do not do it. Carla, it's over. I'm breaking up with you and I am done for good. Good. Gerald, you will never speak to Carla for the rest of your life. Get out of our sights right now or else I am going to kick your light-colored football head to outer space. And as for you Carla the lemon head with a Julie voice, how dare you get a boyfriend named Gerald and then go out on a crime spree along with him to get your boyfriend's parents and sister killed. What you actually did was a serious crime of first degree murder. But Carla with an Emma voice and Molly the football head with a Karen voice, it was an accident. We don't care. You're grounded for the rest of your life. Go to your room right now while your mother and your father hear about what happened to Gerald's breakup with you and we will all put you and Gerald into a permanent lifetime restraining order. You will never see Gerald or speak to him again for the rest of your life. Yeah. You can cry all you want because when your mum and dad hear about this, they are going to be extremely furious about your horrible performance along with your ex-boyfriend for what the both of you did to his parents. We are very disappointed in you right now. Man, I can't believe your clone with a Julie voice would do a horrible performance along with my clone with a Kate voice. Neither have I Molly. She has been sent to this mental people's home for a reason why she did this to Gerald's parents.